What are antigens? Antigens, what are they? How do they work? And how can we use them in biotechnology? That's what we will take a closer look at today. Hello everybody, I hope you're doing well. My name is Lucas. I study biotechnology here in Finland and today I'm gonna talk to you about antigens. What are antigens? And as usual, we'll start with a short definition. Let's get into it. An antigen is a toxin or other foreign substance which induces an immune response in the body, especially the production of antibodies. So let's break this definition apart by looking closer at how this process works in an actual example of the immune response and what role antigens play in the immune response. So let's say you have an open wound and some bacteria enters or other foreign substance, it doesn't have to be bacteria, but it could be. So for this example, let's use bacteria. Bacteria enters the wound, then you're gonna have a macrophage. If you don't know what a macrophage is, just think of it like the police force of the body for now, or part of the police force. The macrophage is responsible for ingesting or eating, I like to think of it. So it comes along like Pac-Man. It digests all of the foreign substance, e.g. the bacteria, and it actually breaks it down and saves a little part of each bacteria. And this is then displayed on top of it. And these little red things here, these are what, uh, what we call antigens. Okay, you might think that's the end, but there's a little bit more than that. So let, let's take a look at what happens next. Once the macrophage has ingested as much as it can and becomes an antigen presenting cell, the short for this is APC. And what this actually does is that it calls more, more macrophages to the spot where we have some sort of pathogen, in this case bacteria, because there's still a bunch of bacteria left, but one macrophage was not enough. So this APC or antigen presenting cell, which is still just a macrophage that has already eaten, calls for the calls for more macrophages. And then this macrophage that is saturated moves to another part of the body to the B cell and the T cell. The T cell it's gonna help the macrophage destroy I can actually take this whole complex. Oh just one sec, wait. Then the APC is going to move to another part of the body to get some help from the T cell. The T cell is going to release a bunch of chemi chemicals into the into the macrophage to help it destroy whatever is left on of the bacteria because it can't ingest and destroy everything just by itself. The B cell is going to collect these little antigens, so it's going to take these antigens and there are two kinds of B cells. There are B plasma cells and B memory cells. The B memory cells are actually responsible for you becoming immune. This is why vaccines work, because once you present a little bit of, an, uh, of any sort of illness, almost any sort of illness, macrophages can break them down, form an, AP, an APC, and take the antigen, the specific antigen, which is specific to the to the bacteria or the, the illness and give it to the B cells and these memory cells will remember them for up to I think 10 years or something like that depends a bit on the illness of course the plasma cells on the other hand are going to get busy producing antibodies and of course this is what we're looking for in biotechnology antibodies as you might be familiar with we use in a bunch of different processes diagnostics uh, medicine. I, I'll do a video on what antibodies are used for on, an, on a later date. So, so that's how we get the antibodies. Yeah, and these antibodies are gonna seek out the antigens which exist on the bacteria that have infected the, the body and they're gonna bind to the antigen antigens on top of the bacteria. So remember again that the antigens are a part of the bacteria to which antibodies can bind to form a so-called, let's do that as well, form a antigen 
antibody complex. And what this does is that it, it, it sends a signal to the macrophages, so it's easier for them to find the remaining bacteria and ingest them. And also it impedes the bacteria, so it can't move as quickly. It starts moving really slowly. And that's how the immune response works in a nutshell. So hopefully that gives you a better overlook at how it works. And more importantly, what role the antigens play in all of it. Again, if you have any questions, just leave them down in the comments. Thank you. Okay, so hopefully you now have a better understanding of how antigens work in the immune response. But in what way can we actually use this in biotechnology? Well, since we very often need antibodies and a lot of antibodies for many of our diagnostic methods, it's very useful to us to target specific antigens, to find specific antigens, and to use these antigens and introduce them in a host cell, introduce them, for example, in a rat, and have the rat to produce antibodies for us that we can use in diagnostics and in uh, medical research and even to cure some illnesses. So that is how we can use antigens in biotechnology. So now for you all to remember this better, try to remember how did the immune response work, what role did antigens play in the immune response and what other parts were there. Well, if you remember, we have some foreign matter that enters the skin, for example, through an open wound. This could be bacteria. The bacteria is found by macrophages who ingest them and break them down to produce an antigen, which is then presented. This complex the, uh, is called an APC. Antigen is presented to B cells and the B cells produce the antibodies and the antibodies can then be used in whatever way we want. So, lastly, I would like to thank you for watching this video and stick around until the very end to watch some bloopers, maybe, if I get that in there. We'll see. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. And if you have any questions or comments, feedback is appreciated as usual, so just leave it down in the comments. Thank you for watching. Have a great rest of the day. Bye. How's it going, guys? Take that again. And write your answers in the description. And I'll see you there. Not in the description. Okay, I'll say something slow. Okay, so how? Okay, so hopefully you know how. Ugh. Okay, so I actually noticed that uh, I had messed up the camera footage. So here we go again.